Hi everyone, I'm back. I took the plunge. I bought a very expensive jewelry jar. I hope you're in the mood for a jewelry jar unjarring. This is truly a jar as well, not just a bag, though I do kind of use the term interchangeably. So welcome again. If you're new here, I hope you enjoy videos about jewelry. I hope you love looking at jewelry, ooing and awing over it, because that's what we do here at this channel. These particular little mystery jars and bags have often rendered real treasure, and I am talking diamonds and sapphires and gold, carat gold, sterling silver, Native American, designers such as Tiffany Chanel and David Yurman, etc. So please stay tuned as we dig through it and hope that we find something worthy of $149. Yes, I turned down that pretty purple one and I went home and regretted it. I honestly did. And my husband said I should have bought it. And then we found this one. I found this one and he went back and bought. No, he found me Here this it is. one. One jewelry jar for Thelma Trip. And then I went back and found another one, a little bit less than this one, but stay tuned for those jar unjarrings. I think you'll really enjoy them. Let's get started. This one is not as heavy as the one that I bought, but we shall see. You just never know. Plus, I was kind of talking to the ladies that work at that particular goodwill and they were kind of letting me know what customers have said about their jars and i oh, there's a lot of loose stones here nice looking rhinestone there so hopefully we can repair something if it's broken so i was really intrigued and kicking myself for not buying it so i bought it and we're gonna see what happens oh my gosh what are these oh these are so cute these are those earrings that were so popular not too long ago uh, please excuse my nails. They are not in the best of shape today. Aren't those cute? Oh my gosh. I like those. Yeah, so this goes in the back of the lobe and then the big one goes in the front. I just hope they don't tilt too much. Sometimes they tilt a little bit when they're a little top heavy. We'll see. Okay, so let's dig out through here and then we'll maybe dump something out. Oh, that's a pretty ring. It's just a little costume piece. Oh, let me show you my rings of the day. Some people do request that I do that. This is a man-made alexandrite, a very beautiful mid-century piece. Love that. That's a huge stone. It does change colors. It is a man-made alexandrite. This is just a silver tone snake. And uh, this is a 14 karat gold little band that I like to wear here. And I found that in a jar. This is a vermeil and sterling. I really love this. I kind of... Um, wish the silver finish would come back it's kind of a verme color and that's my wedding band all right let's look at this this is pretty and it fits can't beat that it actually fits all the rhinestones are there too that's a nice one i like that here is an outstretched per shell pearl kind of um Adfit, adhered to some wood beads. This is beautiful. I really love that. I would not mind having that redone. That is really pretty, but unfortunately it is stretched out. Okay, we have a little leopard or not a tiger, but probably a leopard. Very interesting. How does this unhinge? I don't see any stones missing. I do see a little wear, but it's not too bad, honestly. It feels like, I don't even know how to open it. That is strange. The coloration really makes it, oh, there it goes. It hinges right there. That is so pretty. It makes it appear as if it's antique. It's kind of like my, my gold diamond bracelet there it has that really beautiful patina. Oh my gosh, that is not bad. I like that. That is pretty. It's very different. It, <laughs> I like it. Nice look. Rhinestones appear to all be there. I can't quite uh, tell under these lights sometimes, but I'll take a really good look at it. And I do love those black stones on the eyes. All right, we do have a sterling piece here. Nice, nice. Ah, missing one of the pieces. What a shame. It looks like it actually cracked. Well, now we know we can inspect this. 
we can inspect it and see you know sometimes we don't know if it's onyx or what do you call it enameled this is a nice bracelet though maybe i can remove that link i think i do have a little room i think i will have one of those that link removed and repair that because that is not bad and really you can't even see it but i hate things that are chipped or broken they bug me they give me bad to me it's just like a bad mood you know what i mean there's just no no good juju out of broken things for me that's just my opinion all right so let's get a little closer here and see if i can't show you everything a little closer okay here's a pretty ring oh that's nice this is a um, genuine stone in there looks like a moonstone looks like a moonstone i really have to chase the flash in there but i think i see a little blue in there and it is sizable it's nice it's a nice look i like it little copper going on a little coil on the bezel i really like the mixed metal design very nice so that's a pretty one that was very nice let's try this out first the chains oh how pretty is this boy this is tiny did that belong to american girl doll or something and here's the stone this is the stone that goes right there <laughs> Let me get that on there. Oh, that does go in there. I don't have the time to uh, fix it right now. But is that not darling? I think it belongs on a doll. <laughs> it's just like 10 inches. Or, I don't know. Maybe it's an anklet. <laughs> I'll have to get that glued later. Let's see what else is here. Oh, these are interesting. Are they rings or earrings? What is that? It's kind of stretchy. Maybe it's a ring. A nice thumb ring, I guess. It's kind of, I guess it could be a bypass. Right? Okay, here are some hoops. These are rhinestone hoops on one side. They do have rhinestones. Here is the, no, this is not. This is a sterling one. Hope we have a match to the sterling hoop. That's cute. So I sure hope we get our money back on this one, right? Oh, I love the diamond cutting on that hoop. But let's see if we get a match. This is a little bangle. I'm missing some rhinestones there. Still pretty. You can't see it, honestly, unless you really look closely. And maybe that's the rhinestone that goes in there, not in the other one. Yeah, I think I, I think it actually goes in there matches more yes <gasps> okay so far we've got some repair to, repairing to do dillard's ooh, pretty sterling silver sensitive skin oh they've got nice backs and these are gold tone uh i don't think they are sterling silver they look like gold tone i think someone just used the i think they just used the little card but these are cute i actually like these especially in gold tone and that is mother of pearl that's got a beautiful iridescent glow to it doesn't it oh i like those really pretty and what do i see in here i see something blue what is that? Oh, it's glass okay i thought maybe it was turquoise what is this Oh, wow, this is pretty. This is really cool. Look at that with stars. And they are multicolored. I really like that. That's really pretty. Little wear on the chain. Maybe the, a cleaning will help that. I'm not sure, but honestly, all of the emphasis is on the front anyway look how pretty that is i love that that is really cute multi well two tone silver tone and gold tone and i do not see a mark on it but that is very cool i like that and 
We've got a rubber watch with a peace sign on it, no name on it. Let's see if I can put a battery on it. I've been putting these in my school treasure chest and giving those away to my students. Oh, that's interesting, but it's missing all of the stones. Bummer. I've got some wood. Mm, mm, it's these are wood these are not turquoise i didn't think they were honestly i do like the look of that yeah i still like the look of that turn that up a little bit i do it has a nice look it really does look like turquoise it might be those um they almost look like clay and not wood actually but that's a pretty look i like that a magnet or something uh from the rolls bow 2006 there are some peace sign earrings in here. Oh, these are cute. Gold tone. Very big and substantial and shiny and bright. Okay, here is, oh, I thought it was a brooch. What a beautiful stretch ring and all of the AB stones. Nope, there's one missing at the butterfly tip there. That may be an easy replacement, though. Everything's going to be repaired in this jar. Seems like we're seeing a lot of repair work, right? But it's beautiful. I hope it falls out there because that'll be a good fit. And that is so cute. Very cute. Or maybe I'll just clip off the antennae. That would be an easier fix is to just click, clip off the tips there and we wouldn't even notice it, right? That would be good too. That would be a good alternative. All right, let's see what else pops out of this jar. More watches, more being Oh, a necklace that matches the earrings that are missing the stone. So that's a shame that it's broken. This is interesting, and it looks like it might be sterling. Is it a bracelet? Yeah, it's got an interesting hallmark there. Let's take a better look at it. Is that a state? Oh, it's an eagle with a heart. And it does say 925. It's cute. It's got a real pearl. With a little dangle pearl. That's pretty. Alright, we like that. This is, I don't know, some kind of stretchy thing. And, oh, that's interesting. This looks like a vintage piece because of the closure and the wear on it. It's got some wear on it for sure. I would definitely touch this one up and I think I would like to use my antique one because it seems to have a brass undertone coming through there. Very cool. These almost look like the Haskell uh, what is, what did they call those? Di Diamantes? Diamantes, I think. Something like that. Those little ones that were like on wires, but they're not. This is not a Haskell, of course not. I would definitely be screaming if it was. But it's very pretty. And here is a bangle. This is nice. This is a nice little heavy plastic. I don't think it's bake a light and if it was it's quite simple um here's some kind of smart watch fitbit oh my gosh it's a fitbit it's a real fitbit the brand fitbit i've never seen that well i may have to see if that even fits because i may want to get fit i'm giving up sweets throughout lent and i'm hoping that helps me curb my appetite for bad food <laughs> this is beautiful too bad the earring is missing stones but the necklace is still pretty and i don't know if the necklace has any missing stones how pretty is that in green those other stones are not missing they're kind of a mm, kind of an iolite color actually that's pretty too bad this one is missing or maybe it wasn't missing. Maybe I just thought it was. You know what? It's not missing stones. That is the color of the stone. It's like an iolite color. 
So, okay, that is okay then. Let's hope we find Hawaii. My son is in Hawaii for the week. My son and his family are in Hawaii for the week. And I get Hawaii in a jar. <laughs> I hope they're having a blast getting out of that Chicago cold. Okay. Oh, these are pretty. Look at these little dangle earrings. A drop of rhinestones and a drop of pearl there. And they're on a lever back. I hope we have a match. Let's dump some more out of here. Did I look at it? Oh, no, wait. Here's a ring. Here's a ring down here. Oh, that's pretty. This looks like a sopata or something. It is. Or that looks like a crystal. Maybe it's a clear quartz crystal or whatever you call it. Rock crystal. Oh, I love it. It fits me, too. That is cool. Oh, I love the olive branches there, whatever they are. See the sopata mark right in the middle there. There is 925. And this is not even Sopata. I was wrong. It is not Sopata. It says Bila. It looks like it says Bila 925. Please let me know what you know. There it is there. B-I-L-A or B-R-I-A. Definitely a B mark and not a Sopata mark. Look just like the triangles without a close-up for sure. And then the 925 mark is over on this side. Up at the top, 925. It's so pretty. What do you think that stone is? It looks a little bit like a moonstone. It's definitely not a, um, a clear glass or crystal. Could be some kind of quartz or maybe even a moonstone. Dirty too, so I'll have to clean that. Look it out. I love it. That is so pretty. It's got a nice little cushion faceting on it. That's a nice buy. Okay, got some sterling coming in here. Good, good. Uh, a stretch. What is this, a stretch anklet? I think it is. How cool is that? Definitely long, longer than a bracelet. Too short for a choker or collar. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see what this is. Is this sterling? Please let it be sterling. It's beautiful. It looks like silver tone. Nope. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. There's a mark right there. Isn't it? Or is it just scratches? I'll have to look. Marked. It is marked 925. Awesome. And look at that. It actually is a bypass. There it is. And it is heavy. Let's see how heavy. Let's weigh this, baby. I got my scale right here. Handy. Awesome. See, this is why I went back. I spoke to the lady because I kept going every single day asking for jars. And she said, oh, my gosh, we just had. No, the next day after I left the purple one. Oh, it's big on me. It's so beautiful, though. She said, yeah, they sold it the next day and so forth. She goes, you know, they're actually locking up our jewelry because I don't know if they think that employees are stealing or what's going on. And then she said that the guy that bought the jewelry jar that he had told her he made two thousand dollars out of the last i don't know why he would tell her that but i mean she's just the salesperson she's not making the jars actually but she probably told the manager too i don't know but then she tells me no she was you know they are putting sterling in there and some gold and i said really well let's let's try it then but then that was afterwards right after i had left the jar so then I thought, you know what, when I see another one, I don't care if it's $150, I'm going to buy it. So I sent my husband to go look because he's around there and he found it. All right, so this one is marked 925 right there. It's beautiful. It looks like drops, doesn't it? It's very organic, really cool. I'll tell you how heavy this is, okay? It's 20 grams. That's pretty substantial for a bangle. It is solid. It is gorgeous. And it is sterling. And that's the only mark I see. I don't go ahead and take it to a loop. Two five is all I see on it. It's It's definitely solid, I tell you what. If it wasn't, these little things would probably have some dings on them. 
but let me keep looking. I don't know why I think it's like a designer. Just something really cool about it. I inspected it thoroughly, but maybe I missed something. Is there something on the inside there? Is that the only? I think that's the only mark. Yeah, that's the only mark there that I see. Maybe you see something else. But it's very substantial. 20 grams, solid sterling. Awesome. Awesome piece. Keep looking all around though because it really looks like a designer artisan piece. It's made quite nicely in one piece, two drops of sterling, and just so organic and beautiful, don't you think? I really like it. I wish it fit me better, but I will definitely sell it to someone who can wear it. It's gorgeous. Okay, the ring I had. So I have a couple of sterling pieces, a repair for sterling so far. And what is this? This looks like stainless here. Oh, it's cute though. And it says something. It says best. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay. It's got the F word and the B word. All right. And it's got some arrows. And I may have heard of this brand before. I think I saw someone do, I heard one of my favorite jewelry podcasts talk to the, um, the girls that started this brand. And yeah, it is best effing bees is what it says. And it looks like stainless. I could swear it's stainless. Also a big bracelet. Words. Ooh, amber in the house. Oh my goodness. I hope I find the match. Okay, here's the other earring. Again, that's so crazy how I thought these were missing stones. But they are actually the color of iolite. Here's a very nice amber earring in... Oh, I hope I get the other one now in the, um, and it is sterling. Beautiful color of amber there. And let's put it down before we get too excited and we don't find the other one, but just got to keep looking. Oh, this is so pretty. I've seen these a few times and I've never seen one so pretty. Look at this pretty glass. This one has a little banding of AB across it wonderful art glass on that and it's not huge sometimes these bangles are so huge they don't fit that is so pretty i really love this one the colors are beautiful too kind of looks like a seascape or something doesn't it either a landscape in the mesas of arizona or florida sunshine and let's leave the amber solo over here and hope that we get it uh, we've got these butterflies. Oh my gosh. I really love the style of this earring. It pops up so much. And they make really cute designs and they're very lightweight. I really like those. Oh, here's another beautiful hoop. This looks like a house or something. A tooth. Really made nicely. Oh, I hope I find that one too. Let's dump out a little bit more and hope that we get some matches to those gorgeous earrings. I really hope so. All right, we got the requisite, uh, another sterling piece. You can tell this is sterling from here. Oh, it's a brooch. I thought it was a statement piece. How interesting is that? Especially since brooches are pretty much a thing of the past, aren't they? You rarely see them brought back with new designers and styles, but wow that's interesting definitely the quality of a, of a contemporary piece but i do like the colors on that that's nice and let's see what this is this is an interesting drop very heavy kind of an artsy piece there as well oh it looks like a vintage one i say that because of the jump ring they don't do jump rings that often anymore which I actually love the jump ring. I don't know why they stopped using it. Look at that heavy patina on there too. All right, let's see if we see any marks on it. Jump ring also says 925. At one time the bead was um, gold. They gold wash on the bead. That would have been really cute. And uh, I don't see a mark, but I'm certain this is sterling silver i will test it of course and i do love the delicate chains of sterling yeah that at one time had a gold wash on the bead 
you can see it under the loop and see a little remnant of it so that is cute solid little bead and everything on that a broken watch these yellow beads are cute look at that these are um glass that's pretty this matches my um believe it or not but i'm wearing a dress this <laughs> color here it is <laughs> look at that it matches uh, my dress yeah i have a little bowden dress on and this would be pretty with it look how cute that is nice long necklace not very long but i think it's about probably 24 inches long very nice some gold stone here this is the really glittery stuff and this looks like an anklet it is on a barrel clasp oh my gosh but it's gotten fused together just soak that in something and see if i can't open it up gold stone and that's a man-made glass stone it has the glitter if you're not familiar with it that's what that is called many people mistakenly call it sunstone the sunstone is actually a genuine gem stone this one is not and i did find the match to this i hope or did i just put it on there it looks like i don't know let's we'll see what is this 36 dollars. it must be sterling it is indeed still on the tag nice little heart yeah and this is marked in the back let's see what it says it looks like it came from macy's very cute oh that's darling very pretty a skeleton key with a heart what is this is this a stretch okay one chain needs to be put back these are genuine pearls and they are stretched here and this little chain needs to be reattached i believe oh it cannot be reattached it was fused on there so i will probably just clip that off but these are genuine pearls beautiful lavender color easy fix on that actually just clip that chain i love it it's got a beautiful victorian vibe to it i'm glad it wasn't the rhinestone one and then it has i don't know it kind of looks like flowers kind of reminds me of something 1928 would have done that is so pretty oh my gosh i love that color that is the prettiest lavender and again those are genuine pearls very nice oh this is a little memory coil of rhinestones also in a beautiful purple that's nice fun piece oh we have some cloisonne in a stretch cloisonne beads kind of kind of a chocolatey color green uh, here's another cute bracelet what is this not stretch that's a good sign looks like pot metal is that open there there it goes it's magnet it's a nice look actually it's not uh, I think it's glass the beads appear to be glass just a base metal there but I like the coloration on the beads, honestly. It even has some crazing. Yeah, these are definitely glass beads. Interesting piece. It does have a nice look. It has a nice patina on it. That would look great with your Southwest or Native American pieces. Blend it right in with that. What's this? This is a wannabe Pandora style very worn i'll stick this in a crafter and not even real leather on that okay oh another one in orange okay so we have two how pretty i love this color too i wonder who made this pretty colors yeah those are very nice and this is all lavender on the rhinestones and this one is a b on these rhinestones. how pretty are these i do like them i think they're super cute little potato pearls dyed pearls very nice okay 
Ooh, nice bracelet, whatever that is. Very bold. Huge lobster claw, love that. I'm very surprised not to see a maker mark on this one. You can definitely uh, use the extender to shorten it. That is so pretty. I love that. That is very nice. It's very heavy. Looks like really good quality plating on that as well. That's a gorgeous bracelet. That is really rich looking. That's a nice bracelet. It really is. Look at that huge lobster claw. That was very easy to put on. We've got some kid earrings. So why they do that, I don't know, but they do. This matches this piece right here. So we have an earring that matches that piece there. I have those earrings already. This looks like a sterling bracelet too. And it does have a little dangle. It does look like sterling. What does that say? Beach. Bingo. Beach glass. Oh, it says beach. <laughs> Beach glass bingo. How cute is that? 925 on the lobster claw. There it is. There's the mark there. Now, who was it that told me they collect beach glass? I think it might have been my subscriber that recognized me at the bins. If it wasn't, if you're watching, contact me. I will send you this <laughs> for free as a gift. Isn't it gorgeous? I don't hear from her, from her soon. Of course, I'll put it up for sale. That is so cute, though. That is really a cute bracelet. So another sterling piece. And this looks like it could be sterling as well. It does have a 925 mark. Nice! Oh my gosh, this is like the second pair of beads that I... These are very, very highly patinaed that I have found. I think the first ones were in a jar, too, if I'm not mistaken. These are hollow, but they are on a chain. Yes, they are on a chain. Nice. Nice. I'm going to polish these up. I'm going to get these nice and shiny. They're graduated. And they're not bench beads, but they are just a very nicely done graduated bead necklace of sterling silver. Nice. So we did get our little share of sterling pieces. I'm very happy about that. I really am, because I was so afraid I was going to be throwing away this one. Oh my gosh, this one must have been plated, because it looks like sterling, and then it looks like it's blackened, but I'm going to check and see what we have. It's very heavy, too, and I don't see a mark very heavily plated and that's kind of a mark of the heavily plated stuff it start the the silver plate starts to tarnish and blackened and it fooled me i really thought it was uh possibly sterling but it actually was just very heavily plated and it's marked lc which is liz claiborne and it's a pretty bracelet actually it looks like real onyx in there really pretty it was liz claiborne what is this trust believe this is some kind of a little bracelet almost look like a brighton there with the heart that looks like a brighton design i can't quite tell but usually i think it just wants to look like a brighton because it's a little lightweight here at the front it's a cute bracelet though it's very cute cute little charm bracelet and it doesn't have the heavy quality feel that a brighton does this is a wood stretch this is black chains I, I got a little tangle here let's see if i can get this untangled oh my goodness okay this looks like some kind of festooned festival here so we have acrylic all around all the beads are acrylic including the uh no the silver is metal the gun metal color and then we just have sort of a little parade there of black chains, silver tone, not silver, but um, gunmetal. Interesting and very heavy. Very nice wheat chain on this one. I think I've seen this necklace before. I 
I don't know why I feel like I've seen something very similar. It's very pretty. It has gold little barrel bead stations and the chain is actually it's not a, a wheat chain it's a it's a box chain very good condition too that's really pretty I don't see a maker on it but it's very heavy very substantial I like it look at that that's a very nice piece it's a nice look it really is it really is a a nice way to wear the two metals. They really complement each other, and I really think people underestimate the um, the complementary factor of mixing the metals. I love that. That's gorgeous. Another, are these? Okay. This is a bangle, too. This one says Rush. Rush by Dennis. Maybe this one had a, a, the same kind of thing. I don't know. And then here's a bangle as well. So this is a nice little trio, I guess. That wouldn't be a bad look at all. I think I don't really like the charm, though. I think I just like the bangles. And here's a little steampunk thing. Some little cog wheels. <laughs> well, that's what we call them now, right? Cog wheels. Oh, gosh, those are cute. I guess they're... Wow, that's interesting. Looks like a brass chain. Brass chain. It's a cool piece. I like it. It's kind of a steampunk look there. And uh, very interesting. I like it. Then we have a uh, single earring there. And some kind of a bead chain here. It looks like it's broken though. Yeah, it looks like it was a knot and it broke. So I'm going to put that in a crafter lot. Maybe someone could use the findings or something. And here's another little necklace and this one looks like sterling blackened very pretty chain look at that that is really sparkly has a gold tone or brass little squiggly so let's see what it says it says 9250 114 I don't know if this is 14k 1141. 925 1141. Not sure what that means about the gold. It could be a gold wash, but it's definitely sterling. Um, that looks like a chalcedony. And it is marked there as well, 925 there. I'll have to test that to see if that's just uh, coated verme or whatnot. Because I've never seen a hallmark that says 114925 or 1114, whatever that was. It could be a gold filled, it could be a coating, a verme style. This is pretty. This one says influence, semi precious. Well, very nice to know that. I guess that's, uh, what is that? Um, Chrysophrase or something? Amazonite? Not sure. I don't think it, it could be turquoise, who knows, but it's made in China. And uh, it says, it's very cute. We'll see. Or it could be a composite. You never know with the Chinese designs. All right, let's see what else pops out in here. Oh, I hope I get some matches to those earrings I really like. Another pink watch. This one's running. Fabulous. This one will go into the treasure chest. Unless it's a good brand. Then. <laughs> Kofuo. Kofu. Kofuo. This is so cute. Very cool. 137. It's on the wrong month, I think. It looks like it might be on seconds, though. I don't know. I'll have to. There it goes. That's about the right time right there. Time for dinner. I'm going to make some burgers today. Oh my goodness, we've got some mother of pearl on here on an old barrel clasp. Look at that barrel clasp. Very nice. And it's a nice choker size. That is beautiful. Lots of pink coming out of that pink conch shell, concho shell. Love that. Very cool. Very cool piece. And I did get the other amber earring, I think, because I think I saved it over here with the other sterling pieces. I hope I did. Yes, yes, yes. Well, very nice. Beautiful 
amber earrings and of course they're lightweight that's a lovely thing about amber right <laughs> you can wear huge earrings and they weigh nothing and I love the lever back that's fantastic beautiful golden color I think they call this one honey and definitely sterling definitely beautiful love that all right very nice to have matching earrings when they're sterling and amber right oh my gosh a little doggy bone is this the um this one's mark this one says where what's in your heart oh my gosh so it's got a p i guess that was the dog's name initial and it's got some paws that are gold with enamel and a dog bone that is so cute and the whole thing is a dog bone i love it how cool is that is it cracked ah bummer uh look at the little puppy in the corner oh my gosh well the charms are worth something anyway that is too cute too bad it's cracked that's the thing about the origami ones right they're really pretty and this is really heavy what is this sundance those are nice usa assembly these look like sterling fine five pretty about an inch diameter probably there very nice i kind of put everything in a bundle here sometimes i forget to show you things because when i drop them like that these are vintage made in korea they don't do things in korea much anymore not this kind of stuff anyway those are pretty very lightweight multi-hoop dangle hoops very cute color is still there that's interesting speaks to the quality right um, what is this do we have a magnet thing in here got Claire's or something let me see what it says indeed it's Claire's purpley thing there it is what else a bangle that is silver tone nice texture on it another bangle this one is brass that's coming through already though it had a nice look still pretty silvery color a coil silver and gold colors a stretch another kids piece very nice beads though i have to put that in a bead lot those are beautiful crystal beads it may not be a kid's bracelet i just said that because you know it's kind of worn out and stuff but it's what a beautiful combination of peach almost a morganite color and pink crystals that's beautiful i wish i had the time to craft jewelry i would use that this one says blessed on one side and on the other side is my saint my hero bless uh, i guess it's some kind of iconography there we have the blessed mother we have some crosses it looks like we have some saints saint christopher very heavy nicely done okay and that is one of those drawstring bracelets it looks like pewter or a silver tone on that this is a very thin little tin like bangle i usually just throw those in a crafter lot this looks like a sterling charm here with an r on it but i could be wrong could be silver tone because the bracelet looks a little cheap but you never know what people do sometimes they throw on things into their this is actually a fossil but it's gotten worn out yeah it's actually a fossil and actually the r doesn't even go on there it looks like it's just <laughs> yeah the r was not on there the r is let me see if the r is sterling it kind of looks like it it really does look like sterling but i don't see a mark. oh james avery bingo i was gonna say it but before i said it i was like i better shut up people are so tired of hearing me say it this is awesome this is a cut charm i have a t on my 
charm bracelet from James Avery. There it is. Bingo. Awesome. This is a good, I don't know, I think they retail for 50 or so. So I could easily get $40, $40 for it maybe. Or so. I have to check though. I'm not, I don't remember anymore, honestly. The bigger ones, they come in small and bigger initials. So that's definitely a James Avery. And they sell them like this on the second market because you have to cut them off your charm bracelet. <laughs> so that's what a lot of people do. Oh my gosh, I should keep it, right? For Robert? Oh my gosh, how corny. <laughs> no, I won't. I won't keep it, but I'm so happy. I knew it was sterling. I knew it was heavy. And then when I started turning it around to look for the Hallmark, I was like, I want to say it's James Avery because James Avery came out with the initial charms about, uh, I don't know, three years ago or so. And of course, I got one for myself for my charm bracelet. And there's the candelabra. If you're not familiar, it's an artisan designer out of Texas. That is a little candelabra. It usually says sterling on it as well as that little thing there. And it's very highly collectible. It's good jewelry. Um, so always take a look at your silver jewelry if you think it's nothing special it may not be but if it has that mark on it it is special very special so do keep an eye out for james avery here's a little charm this one looks like silver tone that was exciting very very exciting after the kids jewelry right and more kids jewelry a little puppy paw another claire's this one's pretty <laughs> Some of Claire's stuff is not bad. This is such a pretty color. Look at that. It looks like sea glass. I really love that. That's a nice one. It looks like all the rhinestones are there. Claire's. And that was a fossil bracelet that that. Um, and fossil. these fossil bracelets are made of stainless. And Yeah, but this one's broken. It had a little twist chain on it. And it broke. So that's what we have there. And we have more little loose rhinestones, probably from that bangle. Another steampunk thing. Wow, that's interesting. That looks like a silver tone. That is so interesting. What is that supposed to be? Uh, we have broken piece. We have a uh, Charlie girl with some stars. All right, looks like a little cult or some cult symbol conspiracy theorist here i'm joking i'm joking this is a magnet one but with fun little colors how interesting is that i'll have to give this to my granddaughter or my grandson you might have fun with the magnet fun here <laughs> you can make it a bracelet you can make it a necklace whatever you want oh this is a heavy bangle why can't this be james avery too <laughs> It's very heavy, but it's silver tone. Appears to be just silver tone. Very nice, though. Very, very nice. And um, these are by Millennium Mulberry and other fun stuff. Millennium. They're cute. Look at that. They're little hearts with little wheel dingles. And uh, they could be sterling. They have nice hooks. They have the kind of hook that's usually sterling, but I don't know. They might just be stainless they're not marked and look how cute old heart see that and another little wheel or something at the bottom what is that that looks like a little stone on the inside it actually almost looks like um sea glass as well look at that it's on a little frame a little shadow box they're not marked Let's see what they say on the back. Thank you for choosing our unique collection of earrings, bracelets. As a result of over 20 years of collaboration, many of our designs are influenced by nature and the world around us. We enjoy combining natural materials such as freshwater pearls. Okay, so semi-precious stones. All right, now we know that. With found and recycled objects to give our designs a time-worn yet renewed feeling. We hope you enjoy each and every handmade piece, Jim and Tori Milan. And these were retailing at $30. Well, that's very cool. So those are definitely gemstones. 
wow, that's what I was thinking. I wonder what they are. Maybe a, a mother of pearl or a citrine. They really glow. They're pretty. It's a copper tone colored bracelet. Beads on that. And I don't want to leave anything behind because I often do. Here's a ring with a flag. Please be sterling. Please be sterling. Whoa, it's heavy. Let me see. Oh, it's so cute. No, I think it's just silver tone. It's so cute. It's got some glitter in it. And uh, enamel. Oh, here's another thing. Is that stretched? No, it's not. Oh, these look like moonstone. No, labradorite. Look at this. And they twist and turn. And it's a lucky brand. Lucky brand. And I don't believe it's sterling. I don't know if lucky brand ever did sterling let me know if you know because they know they do really nice work but i think they mostly do silver plate and they definitely use gemstones look at that yes these are beautiful yeah these are all labradorite or is it mother of pearl with the mother of pearl oh very pretty look how pretty that is yeah, that's what it is. It's mother of pearl. I mean, abalone. It's a doublet abalone. That's what it actually is. And that is a gorgeous bracelet. I do love it. And that is a lucky brand. Very cool. Very cool. We got the other earring for the necklace. That had a little wear. The earrings are not worn, but uh, my hands are already dirty. All right. Argento Vivo Sterling Silver 18 karat gold plated. Oh, these are cute. How pretty are those? Oh, I like those. Those are beautiful. I've never heard of Argento Vivo. But they, oh look, they have little rhinestones or crystals. Very nice. Look at that. On the bottom of the hoop there, that is really cool. And they are marked on the earring itself. Setting of the stones in there, I guess they're crystals. I love that. The enameling is so pretty. Oh my gosh, somebody with a short, short haircut or as a second piercing, these would be amazing. You don't really have to have short hair. You just have to have your hair pulled back a bit to show those beautiful earrings. And this is a tagged Vera Bradley key ring. That'll make a nice little uh, giveaway. Cute, that coated. Vera Brow. Here's a ring in a bag. Okay, I hope it's not missing the stones and that it's sterling. It's a little infinity. Is it missing a stone? Those are awfully sparkly. I don't know. They are interesting. I believe they're diamonds. I do have my diamond tester though. NH is what it says, and 925. Sterling, it's a pretty infinity band there. They're probably CZs. They're awfully sparkly. And I can't hardly see this thing to go on there. It's really hard. Okay, let me test it on my wedding band. So I know those are diamonds. Okay, so those are diamonds. And these really look like diamonds. I'm telling you, they're very sparkly. Yeah. All right, so these are diamonds. They're not diamond chips either. They're very sparkly. According to this diamond tester, they are diamonds. Can you see that? Let's do it again. I'm trying to stay off the metal there. Very hard to do on the camera, but there it is. It's definitely a diamond. So nice, very nice. Um, it's very heavy too. I, I'm surprised it doesn't have any other marks. It has HN, but that's what it says, HN 925. And they do appear to be diamonds. They are testing as diamonds. And there they are. They're not the biggest diamonds, but they sure are sparkly. Very nice. And it looks like a size 5. 
fits me pretty good. All right. Very nice. Wow. Very nice. It would have been great to be gold as well, but sterling is okay. Sterling is okay by me for sure. And I think we did find the match on some of these hoops. Yes, these beautiful hoops were found. Those are gorgeous. I'm really surprised I didn't see a designer mark on them. It looks like they are sterling now. So let's check and see. Maybe it says CZs or something. A-T-I-B-R-C-H. A-T-I-B-R-C-H. It doesn't say 925. I do like them. They're beautiful. Very sparkly. Very, very pretty with black, kind of black CZs or whatnot and some crystals or whatever. And let's see what else. I don't want to leave anything out. I've got another earring here. We do have the match to the butterflies, but they're kind of worn out anyway right there as usual i let something slip by the wayside this is a really pretty bracelet it is sterling i just looked at it and it was over here with all of these other stretchies and i didn't pay attention to it of course and i found the match to that other very nice illusion it's all illusion it looks like it has diamonds but it's just diamond cutting and it's a nice substantial bracelet it's a link sterling silver it's got a lobster claw a signature as well some initials there and 925 jwbr 925 it's all illusion and it just looks sparkly and pretty in little infinity links so wow i had almost forgotten to show you that i'm glad i didn't <laughs> that always happens though there's always something that falls by the wayside we do have the wooden chains. Those are matched. Got some more kid stuff. That's from Charlie Girl. I guess this is Charming Charlie's in the kids section. Little stars. Never. I think I've only been into a Charming Charlie's once. So um, I don't see the piece here on the onyx. So I'll have to take off a link. That is really heavy and solid, though or the enameling whatever it was i think it was onyx oh okay, here's a ring this is a tiny one this one looks like a silver tone little pinky ring there boy it's tight another bangle this one's kind of worn out though a little braid and yeah those are all the bangles all the bracelets wow i couldn't have asked for more from this this is definitely made more than my money back i will have to say that this ring is amazing really beautiful and james avery initial charm a bangle a fabulous sterling bangle more sterling this one just needs to be repaired sterling earrings lots of beautiful sterling these hoops were also matched and i sure enjoyed it i hope you did as well come back for the other jars i do have three more that were not as expensive as this one and i have one that was expensive as well but not 150 but thank you so much don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit the bell for notifications so you never miss another video and do consider joining the channel as a member to support its content but subscriptions are always free so hit that subscribe button bye bye